Three weeks without food, well that's doable. Three days without water, and you're on death's doorstep. I'm Les Stroud, and these are your After Earth survival tips. Water makes up about 60% of your body, clears away toxins, brings nutrients to your cells. In After Earth, Katai Rage, played by Jaden Smith, has a filtration system built right into his life suit. You wouldn't be that lucky. After 24 hours, you'd feel the symptoms of dehydration, dizziness, weakness, confusion. Your first order of business in a survival situation is to secure water. Just because water looks clear and clean doesn't mean it's safe to drink. And this sludge is definitely not safe to drink. But I could gather it up and purify it the modern way chemicals, water purification tablets, iodine pills, even chlorine bleach. And it's not a bad idea to carry treatment like that with you when you travel through the wilderness. But what happens if I can't even find water this good? How do I make my own water? Well, this is some of that sludge water. Without chemicals, I can't treat it and make it drinkable. If I could get a fire going, I could boil it and drink it then. That'd be one of the easy ways. But I can still extract clean, fresh drinking water from it. I can distill it. If I didn't have this water, I could even use my own urine and distill that as well. Last thing I want to do is drink my own pee. It's full of toxins. That's the whole point of urinating, is to get toxins out of your body. You re-ingest all those toxins in a concentrated form back into your body. It's bad news in a survival situation. But you can still use your own pee by distilling it and get a clean drink of water. First, you gotta dig a hole. This is about all I need. A hole maybe big enough to put a soccer ball in. All I want to do is saturate this hole with the bad water. Try to create some good water. Now it's easy enough to understand that this could either be your own urine, this kind of bad water. Next step is getting receptacle. In this case, this old plastic bottle will do just fine. So I'm just going to put it down in the hole like that. In most survival situations, I always like to carry with me some plastic. Usually I have a garbage bag in my pocket, but it can be a shopping bag. It can be a piece of saran wrap that was around a bagel that you brought out with you. Plastic in a survival situation, ironically, is a very handy thing. This goes across the top of the hole. I don't want to disturb the receptacle down there. I leave that sitting there. I want to make sure it's weighted down. Usually the sand or whatever you pulled out of the hole will work well for that. What I need to do is create a lot of heat inside this hole. I want every little bit of moisture that begins to evaporate from the sand below to come up, hit this plastic, I'm gonna make an indentation so the plastic points down into the cup in like a little V. The moisture comes up, hits the plastic, drips down, goes into the cup. And with any luck at all, in a few hours, so long as the sun stays out, I've taken care of dehydration. Next is dinner. 